We all love the store Target, but did you know that Target fell victim to the second largest credit and debit card breach in the United States in 2013? Ranked first is the TJX breach in 2007. And the Target incident, 40 million credit and debit card numbers, and 70 million records of personal information were stolen. Unfortunately, Target Corporation is not the only corporation that fell victim to these data breaches, like Sally Beauty Supply and P.F. Chang's. But today, we're going to talk about our favorite store, Target. Now, mainly, we're going to focus on the actual Target incident, the software malware that was used, the prosecution of the data breaches, effective security systems, and lastly, the card security and best practices for customers in order to avoid becoming a victim of these potential data breaches. So let's talk about the actual target incident. Now we can actually split the data breach into a total of five phases, with the first one being initial infection. Now the funny thing is that the initial breach actually did not occur inside target, but rather through a third party vendor called Fazio Mechanical Services, which is a heating, ventilation, and air conditioning firm. Due to the poor security system and training of the third party, a Citadel Trojan was installed through a phishing attempt and provided attackers full range of power over the company's system. What was even more unfortunate was that Fazio Mechanical Services had access to Target's Ariba external building system and thus provided a gateway for the attackers. Phase 2. POS Infection since the attackers possessed access to Target's business section due to Target's poor segmentation of its network from Phase 1, as we mentioned, they easily gained access to other parts of Target's network, which contained sensitive data. This was when the attackers started to test installing a form of malware called Black POS onto the POS devices. Phase 3. Data Collection Unfortunately, once the Black POS malware was installed, updated and tested, the malware began to scan the memory of the POS devices and gain sensitive information such as the card numbers which were scanned by the card readers connected to the POS devices. Phase 4. Data Exfiltration During the breach, the attackers gained control of three FTP servers on the target's internal network. As a result, during peak hours, the Black POS malware installed on the point-of-sale devices would send credit card info to the FTP servers. This info would then be relayed to other compromised machines and finally transferred to drop sites in Miami and Brazil. Phase 5. Monetization It was found that 11 gigabytes of data were collected during November and December 2013. The stolen credit card numbers were found on black market forums for sale. However, it is still unclear how these sellers were linked to the stolen card and personal information. The star of the show is the malware Black POS. It is a form of memory scraper that takes the chunk of a system's memory and looks for credit card numbers. Black POS was designed to infect Windows-based POS machines. The components and functionalities of Black POS can be depicted as follows. What was really cool about this malware was that it was heavily designed for specific internal networks and to hide themselves from common detection mechanisms. Now let's look at prosecution of data breaches. The target data breach is still under investigation as it is difficult to track down criminals, and this is because they operate from around the world. CFAA is a cybercrime law which stands for Federal Computer Fraud and Abuse Act. Under the CFAA, unauthorized access to a computer engaged in interstate commerce, which causes over $5,000 of damage, is a crime punishable by 5 to 10 years in prison. And by law, it is required for a business to report a data breach to affected customers when personally identifiable information has been lost. So don't worry about personal information being stolen without your knowing. By law, you are to be notified. This behaves as an incentive for businesses to strengthen their security. References used in this video are listed as follows. For more information, please visit Yao Group website at Virginia Tech Computer Science.